Hello, I'm Randy Brunette with Spatial Business Systems Incorporated, and today I'm presenting SDS Tools for a Brownfield Workflow. Even though you may have fully adopted the intelligent creation of your PNC drawings using the SDS Toolkit, you will still need to work with legacy, non-intelligent drawings created by generic drafting tools such as AutoCAD, Mentor Graphics, and so on. You may even need to work with scanned raster drawings, and you will certainly need to make modifications to the project to complete work order projects on your substation. The SDS Toolkit provides you with tools to add intelligence to these types of drawings for incorporation into your modern substation design. Today I'm going to start with a very simple test switch schematic and show you our Add Remove or Job Work Order tool. This tool allows you to mark up your existing drawings and manage the changes that take place during a work order. You can see I've started the Wiring Modifications tool and I'm going to add a new work order to this project. Once I have created that job work order number, I can now select it and come down to our Mark or Change Status area where I can start marking entities in the drawing to, to indicate the various steps of the project. For example, these items I now marked as Add. I can also mark this next group as Remove. And all of these colors and settings that we're using for these tools are entirely configurable by going to the Settings option of the SDS Toolkit. Once you have your entities marked, you can also control the display of any components or entities very easily. For example, I can click on the Off button here, and you can see all of the entity changes and markings have been reverted back to normal. Again, I can come up to here, also uh, turn the settings back on, and I can also come into the area and control individual settings. For example, maybe I want to take the existing settings and hide those from in my drawing. So you can see how easily we can control the various aspects of our project and area simply by using our Job Work Order Mark Display tool. Next, I'm going to move to this second drawing. And in here, I have some areas of this drawing that haven't been converted to AutoCAD Electrical. I'm going to zoom into these four terminals down here and as I hover over these you can see that these are simple text entities and line circle pieces standard AutoCAD type components with no intelligence built into them. For our next example I'm going to show you the tie link array tool. Now in here it allows us to add our what we call tie links into the drawing that add intelligence to existing components and areas in the drawing. Basically we're adding fake components for the drawing to read and recognize. In the example here I have these four schematic terminals. So I'll go up to schematic wire connection. I want the connection direction for the wires to be moving to the top. And now I simply put in the information that resembles the pieces in the drawing. For example, this is terminal block 3. I enter terminal block 3 here. Starting and ending pin numbers. And for here, I'm just going to give the XY point of the quadrant of this point and the quadrant of the second point. The tool will then calculate the distance between them and the amount of terminals it needs to add. I can even hide the pin number text. Electrical will place that as part of the component if I need it. And now you can see that we've added these four wire connection points into the drawing that allows us to now continue to add intelligence. So from here I'm going to just move to my cable fan in schematic tool. For those of you that might have worked with the cable fan in tools in AutoCAD Electrical, you'll really be able to appreciate how this tool automates all of those steps. I'm adding a cable number to this. We have different styles for the cable and all different ways you want to see it appeared. And I'm going to place the marker to the left. That's my final marker position. And finally add some wires. The tool highlights all of the wire connections. I select those, change them to red, and you can see now how I'm adding my cable to the top, even with chamfer pieces. And I'll drag this off to the left. So not only does it fan the components in and add the cable marker information, but the tool also automatically adds source destination arrows, the wire fan in operations that AutoCAD would do. 
Okay, so that's we took this non AutoCAD electrical information or drawing and added the information to it to make it intelligent. So now we have intelligent connections available in the drawing. Let's move to this next drawing that I have available. You'll see that this is a raster drawing and I'm going to connect the other end of that cable to these four points on 52-V. And again, since it's just a simple raster drawing, I have to add intelligent points to it. So I'm going to use our tie link command. And in here, this is a component wire connection. The connection direction is to the right. And you can see I've already entered a, through a previous step the 52-V that corresponds to the component tag in here. Now I simply pick my starting pin number, right, where I want this component to be, pick OK, and I enter pin 6. You can see it's putting in that terminal text here which I can move around if this becomes not very legible. Pick my second component. Um, for now I'm going to change that value from 8 to 9 because we want to skip the 8 pin terminal and now put in number 10. Now that I have completed adding the intelligence to the raster drawing I can continue adding the other end of the cable similar to the process from before. I'll start the cable fan in command but instead of entering a cable number I'll use the list option. This will allow me to select from existing cables in the drawing. We can see there is our cable 24 and the four terminals connected to TV3, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Once I have that cable selected, you'll notice it automatically chose the destination option because the source is, was the one we originally put in. Now we simply want our cable marker off to the right and I'll add the new wire connection points. Just like before, it's a pretty simple process. I just simply select the wire connections that I want to add the cable marker to, place the cable marker in the drawing. Notice how it's even added an automatic cross-reference back to the original drawing, Sheet 7, where we placed the original half of the cable, and it's also added in the destination source fan-in, fan-out arrows. This was an introduction to the capabilities of the Spatial Business Systems SDS PNC Toolkit to aid you with your brownfield workflows. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at spatialbiz.com.